my name is Peter McKenzie, and I love CCI. And I want to just spend these 10 minutes, or 9 minutes and 50 seconds, just giving a bit of love back to CCI. Yeah, do you want my picture next to the sign? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, CCI, it gets a lot of bad press, doesn't it? You know, people say CCI is bad, um, we've got to minimise CCI before we die. Um, CCI, the reason your Wi-Fi sucks. It gets a lot of bad press. So let's give it a bit of love this morning. Um, let's just talk about what CCI is very quickly. Co-channel interference. You know, two access points, adjacent access points here, um, um, installed. They're both placed on channel one. They can both hear each other. We have CCI bad Wi-Fi. Hopefully, no one's doing designs like this. So, this is bad, yeah? Everybody would agree we've got an access point on channel six, another access point on channel six. What BSS one on this one, BSS two there. And we would say it is bad. A big CCI warning. Bad fi. We agree that's bad, yeah? Oh, good. <laughs> my question is then, something's just popped up on my screen. Is, is this okay? One access point on channel six, two BSSs, and some clients connected. Do we design networks like this? Hands up who's designed a network like this. Is that bad? My question is, do we have CCI there? Yes, we do. What's at equal? We have got BSS one on channel six. First picture I showed you, bad CCI. This is what we do. But the thing is, CCI, I, these are pretty much equal, aren't they? H have a think about it. They're pretty much the same scenario. Um, you've got the same number of stations, the same number of BSSs, so the same number of beacons being transmitted, and you've got the same number of clients contending for the access medium. Let's just have a look at another scenario then. How about these? Are these equal? I've got here, again, two access points on channel six, separate BSSs, but here I've just got one BSS. Both diagrams show 10 stations contending for access on channel six. Which has the most CCI? Same CCI, the one on the left has twice the cost. The one on the left has twice the beacons and also twice the price, yes in terms of how many IPs, that is very correct. But they both have CCI, and that's the thing I want them to do. Let's have a look at something else, and which is worse here. Um, here we've got six stations, twice the cost, I agree with Keith, but we've got six stations contending for channel six, and here we've got 10 stations contending for channel six. I'm just proposing corrections here, but, but which of these theoretically is worse in terms of Wi-Fi performance? And, and, you know, the more stations we contend for access, the more we're going to have to share the medium. So, co-channel interference. Some people say it should be renamed co-channel contention is a better name, because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about stations contending for access to the same medium. Um, but, you know, it's really hard to get rid of old names. But I want to suggest there's maybe a older name for co-channel interference um, that you get in the 802.11 standard, and that's the distributed coordination function. The distributed coordination function is just the method we go through to contend for access to the wireless medium. And when I was first learning about Wi-Fi back in 2001, um, one of the things that made me fall in love with Wi-Fi was just learning how it worked and learning things like DCF mode. And, the way that stations do have to contend for access. So let me just, before I finish, I don't need to get me wrong. I am not saying that I'm, 
you know, I, I am recognizing that if you've got two adjacent APs on separate channels, this is far better than having two APs on the same channel. Okay, I just want to be clear. But it doesn't mean that CCI is always bad. Okay, what, instead of trying to concentrate on minimizing CCI at all costs, what we really need to do, what's the important thing, is actually to try and minimize the number of clients per channel within our environment. Because the more we minimize the number of, or, or the number of stations at least, that are operating per channel, that's what's going to increase our performance. Let me just try and talk about a couple more scenarios where I think you can try and over-engineer a solution to minimize CCI. Here's um, a CCI heat map. Um, in this scenario, um, just for those back, I'll just point out that AP up here is on channel one. You might be able to see there's an AP down here on channel one, and there's one over here. And I'm just showing the, um, the channel overlap map so, so of, for the APs on channel one. I've got those selected. Um, and it's showing me that up here, we have CCI. I can hear more than one AP on channel one. The question is, is that a problem? Well, when you're up here, hopefully you're going to be connected to this AP up here on channel six, or even possibly to this guy down here on channel 11. But in this area over here, you're never going to be connected on channel one. Not if your wireless network's designed right and you've, got, you've designed it to the roaming requirements and you've got all your configuration right. So it, in one sense, does it matter that I've got CCI there? Because I shouldn't ever be connected on channel one. Um, but I've seen people try and get rid of this gray at all costs. Um, and what they end up doing is minimizing their coverage. So actually, in, in Akahau, I just want to say, if you select associated channel on this view, it'll get rid of that gray area for you. Because it just looks like, it just looks to say, do I have CCI on my associated channel of what I should be associated to in that area? And that would give you back your nice green heat map. If you haven't seen that configuration, I thought I'd point it out. Second thing, disabling 2.4 gig radios. I do it. I'm not saying, again, it's a bad thing to do, but think about the impact of disabling a 2.4 gig radio. I've got channel 1 here, channel 11 AP, channel 6, and channel 1. These current, now, these might be dual radio APs. I'm just showing the 2.4 gig channels. They're all on separate 5 gig channels. Connected to these 2.4 gig radios is 20 APs. That's roughly the sort of user density of 2.4 gig clients in this environment. It's only the corner of a building, so just to look at. Now, in this environment, I have co-channel interference between these two APs. They can hear each other. Um, and it is a problem. So what do I do? I say, well, OK, these can hear each other, so I'm going to disable my 2.4 gig radio on this AP because I have co-channel interference. My question is, doing that, what happens to the clients that were connected to this AP? Those 20 clients. Because I've got 20 clients connected to each AP before I disable the radio. I've got 40 clients and two APs contending for access to channel one, haven't I? That's what I've got, and I'm thinking, if I disable that one, what happens to those clients? They're going to reassociate somewhere else, aren't they? So now they reassociate to channel six. Now I've got 40 clients connecting to channel six. And I've got a wasp trying to um, attack me up here. Obviously, doesn't agree with what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> so, channel, so you've got. Um, <laughs> He does like, oh, oh he likes me. <laughs> he's, a, he's a CCI lover too. He, lo he loves CCI. So we've got now 40, all we've done is move it to 40 clients contending on channel six, but have we made it worse? When all my clients around here are contending, they're contending at a, a high data rate because my clients are located over here. My clients that were located over here, which could also operate at a high data rate to that AP, so I've now when they were connected both to channel one, although they were seeing each other and all contending together on channel one, they were contending at high data rates. 
because they were close to the AP they were associated to. Now, these clients down here are further away from Channel 6, and as, though I've moved the 40 clients to Channel 6, they're now operating at a lower data rate, and therefore the contention has become worse. That's pretty much what I've got to say. Why do I love CCI? Because it's basically DCF in action, which is so fundamental to how Wi-Fi works, and Wi-Fi wouldn't work without it. Thank you very much.